and if you're looking for a new craft to learn and a new accessory to bring home, this is something that you might want to consider. Today, we visit a Beijing studio that aims to raise people's interest in a Chinese tradition that has lasted for over six centuries. Any idea what filigree enamel painting is? Well, you're about to find out. Hidden in the small hutong in central Beijing is a studio teaching and passing on China's intangible cultural heritage. Let's go and check it out. Original Creation is a studio that teaches filigree enamel painting, which embodies the founder's desire to preserve and promote the cloisonné technique. Cloisonné has a history of over 600 years, and now the modern filigree technique can be combined with a variety of painting forms and styles. Works showcased on the walls are mostly done by students. Here we find a piece crafted by the studio's founder, Guo Wei. This work just won a big prize at Beijing's Arts and Crafts Innovation Design Competition called Silk Road Impression. Myths of different Eastern and Western civilizations are combined in this work. This represents silk. I used the colors from Dunhuang frescoes. On the back is a bird which represents the messenger in Chinese mythology. And now Guo Wei will guide me through the basic steps of making enamel painting on this little wooden box with a pattern we just saw from Dunhuang. In this step, we need to print the selected pattern directly onto a drawing board or the desired material. The lines extended on the sheet should be clear and complete for subsequent production. The next step, we use the flexible characteristics of the wire itself, distort and shape them into the design or pattern we want. For me, this is the most difficult step and requires a lot of patience. The last step is applying the enamel paint. The pigments used ore as raw material and are made through several greening and panning processes. The enamel paints are pre-mixed to the colors that are needed. It also requires a lot of practice to master the shading of the colors. And after around 30 minutes of drying, it is finally done. What do you think? Although it's my first attempt, I'm very happy with the result. Of course, I have a lot of help with the professional. And uh, for me, the whole process is very soothing. I can get rid of all the distracting thoughts in my head and only focus on my hands. Filigree enamel paints has a unique visual expressiveness. Combined with modern aesthetics, the traditional art form has now been expanded to more fields. The mineral paints give different texture to the painting. For oil painting or watercolor painting, when color A is added to color B, it turns into color C. But with enamel painting, when color A is added to color B, it looks like color C. But if you look carefully, they are incompatible, which shows the uniqueness of this art. Guo told me that his students are aged 7 to over 60. By learning this craft, they feel the charm of traditional culture and enjoy a meditative experience while creating a piece of art by themselves. A woman. It's my second time here. At the beginning, it seemed quite simple. But I realized there's a deep cultural background and requires attention to a lot of details. In the past, the development of traditional handicraft was more based on the workshop mode of production. There were few good craftsmen who mastered these arts. Guo says each of us has a responsibility to preserve the traditions of Chinese culture. 
能够让更多的人什么的了解。Through original creation, I want to involve more people in this handicraft. It's called active inheritance, which means inheriting and developing it in the process of people's production and life. Only with more people knowing this culture and putting their ideas and creations into it, can this art form flourish. From intangible cultural heritage to fashion item, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day with my new bag. 订阅 CGTN Beijing.